you holding up, Steve? I'm alive. I'm alive. Hey, YouTube, what's up going on? Welcome back to another video I'm here at Steve's place, as you can see. Uh, right now, he's finishing up a timing belt change and water pump change on this V6 Accord. Uh, was there something else you did? No, just that. Just that. Oh, well, he also, one of the cam gears was, was off time and he fixed that too. It's, uh, this the car is one of his uh, friends slash co-workers. Uh, there was like a ticking or something, but yeah, he fixed it for him and all that. Uh, he's getting paid handsomely for it. Sure. <laughs> but yeah, so he's finishing it up. It actually took him pretty much all weekend because uh, we were short of some tools we needed. Plus, it's like the first time he's done this, so, you know. But hey, whatever. But as he's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and work on uh, something on the RSX. Nothing too, nothing too crazy. Just, uh, I actually have nothing to do on the RSX. I just wanna do something though, so, yeah. All right, so first thing I wanna do is get rid of this insulation. Because, you know, track car, I don't need it. Go. There we go. Okay. Uh, this one's might might be tough to reach, but let's see. It's more or less done. I think there's a couple more. Yeah, there's a few more. Let me just take care of this, put the camera down right quick. All right, there it is. Remove that insulation. Uh, in case you're wondering, I'm removing it because it's kind of pointless. Uh, don't really need it, it's a track car. Plus it's kind of like in bad shape, so it's gonna go straight into that trash right there. Um, yeah, so leave that there for now. A few clips on the ground I gotta pick up. Uh, oh, okay. Hmm. So, other than that, that's done. So I can just go ahead and close this. Uh, I want to get arrow catch latches, but I'm kind of wondering if I should wait till I get a carbon fiber hood. Um, by the way, I am going to be modding this for Honda Challenge spec rather than time attack spec. So there's not that many things I need to do per, per se. Uh, I wanna say carbon fiber hoods are allowed though. So I might I might spring for that eventually in the near future and then get an arrow catch for that. That's done, so on to the next thing. One eternity later. Oh shit, all these plastics. So oh. if it's, if all that plastic is, Oh, well, okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, so there's actually two of these switches. One is for, oh, you're actually missing one already. Oh, really? Yeah. So one- I'm halfway here. there? <laughs> yeah, your, one of the plastic clips is uh, broken. That one is most likely for the cruise control. Oh, so, that might explain why it didn't work. Yeah, that's probably why. All right, so, so you just jam a paper clip into this thing. That's it. Literally how you bypass it. Or you can unplug it and then jam, jam it in there, but. Oh, okay. This is, uh, this will work just as fine. So basically if your car won't start, Sometimes it's just this the little stopper is broken on the back. 
Mm -hmm. So you just look for some, uh, you usually look for a piece of broken plastic on the floor. So you can just kind of, basically all you're doing is just, you're essentially shorting it. Okay. So it's not actually shorted, you're completing the circuit. Whenever it's, whenever the clutch pedal is uh, up, uh -huh. it's shorted because pressing down on a switch. So whenever you press down on the clutch, it opens the switch and it completes the circuit. So that's, uh, that's why you're, you know, you see on the clutch pedal, there's yeah. a hole. It's supposed okay. to be a plastic piece on there. So your brake pedal up there, it has a plastic piece too for the brake lights. Oh, okay, okay. So that's why you have a little bit of a, like that little bit of slack. Oh, a little bit of play. Yeah, okay. it's for that button. But, uh, all we really need to do is tape this and you're good to go. Okay. Yeah. Yep, that's it. So there you have it, folks. That's uh, how you do the clutch cancel start, or clutch start cancel mod. It works pretty so. much on any like manual car. In case you're wondering why it's dark out and all this other stuff as compared to the beginning of this video, it's because when I recorded the first part of this video, it was actually a couple weeks ago. We never got around to doing this until just now while we were uh, gutting the car and installing the seat, which of it is the video that you'll see in a little bit or in, in the near future. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching guys. That, that's it I have. That's all I have for this video. Um, thanks for watching. Follow me uh, and Steve on Instagram and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.